Honoring Warren Jones. He's a true friend. He's there for you through good times and bad times. He was a mentor uh, in his organization as a member of Omega Psi Phi fraternity. Uh, he was a mentor to the ones that came behind him. Uh, he's, he's just the type of guy that you would want to have as a friend, that you can, can trust, uh, that can lead you when you don't know where you're going. He can open your, uh, your mind up to other avenues uh, to help you make decisions in life. The things about Dr. Jones is that we are fraternity brothers. Uh, we belong to uh, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. Uh, he is a community individual. He helps person, people in the community as well as the Dillard community. He's always coming around Dillard to see what's going on and to help out. I think he's been on the board here at, at Dillard as well. I think back to the funny part with Mr. Jones or Dr. Jones because um, as a freshman I was a cheerleader and Warren was the announcer for the basketball games. You know these days you have the music that plays in between and all. We didn't have that back in the days. Warren was uh, the announcer. He, he rallied behind the cheerleaders. He made sure that the people were engaged in between time, during the course of the game, he, he was that person that pumped up the volume, in a sense. Um, so I, I think about him during those times, not a, a particular story, but just his, his demeanor in general. Because I think of Warren, because of his leadership over the years, watching him as, as uh, as, an, as a student, first of all, because he was SGA president his senior year, to being uh, an instructor at Dillard, to being on the board of trustees, I see this leadership that, that uh, resounds in, in Dr. Jones. But at the same time, me knowing him over the years, I think about this funny guy that was, was behind us during the time when we, when the cheerleaders needed that rallying. He was that guy to just, as I said, pump up the volume. He's kind of a man of all seasons in a sense. I am Bobby Smith, a member of the Jackson, Mississippi Magnolia Alumni Chapter, and also a member of the Magnificent Seven. I'm here to talk about Dr. Warren Jones. Warren Jones, when I was on campus, was Mr. Omega. He was a class president several times from his class. Dr. Jones is a Navy veteran. He's been on the Board of Trustees at Dillard University. He's established health disparities program at the University of Mississippi Medical Center. And he's been the Medicaid director for the state of Mississippi. But I'm here to talk about Warren as a student at Dillard University. He uh, was a statistician. When I played, he kept scores. Also, Warren was a coach on the first women's basketball team. Who does that? Who has time for it? Anyway, Warren has encouraged our players to be better athletes and better students. He's attended the games to show his support uh, for the coaches and the players. He's encouraged our chapter, the Magnolia chapter, to support the team as best we can, which we provided food, gate aid, and water, and sometimes sit down meals after games. Congratulations, Doc, from the Magnolia Chapter and the Magnificent Seven on being a Legacy Award honoree. I would describe the character of Mr. Jones, or Dr. Jones, as a person of high integrity, high moral character. Um, he's a guy who would go the distance for anybody to try to help them out. When I think of Warren Jones, I think of leadership, I think of commitment, um, I think of funny, a mentor. That's Warren Jones, and a spiritual person. 
Good morning, Dillard alumni, faculty, staff, athletic department. It is a great honor to be able to make comments about Dr. Warren Jones. Dr. Warren Jones is a young man that we've had the pleasure of knowing over his some 50 plus years. And as a graduate of Xavier, of course, we had a chance or occasion to meet Dr. Jones either through engagement in social activities. So therefore, Warren was not the most gifted athlete, but he was very courageous, uh, trying very hard. But the most thing that we actually was impressed with Dr. Jones is his commitment, his dedication. He was always prompt. And those are some of his cardinal standouts. Coupled with his intelligence and his high intellect, Dr. Jones was someone who was always very studious. Dr. Jones insists on everyone being prompt. He insists on everyone using the greatest of caution in everything that we actually did. He was always a proponent of persons actually being safe and all the things that we actually did. But also Dr. Jones had this great diction. He wanted to be exact and precise in everything that he did. So those are some of the things that Cardinal principles that we actually look at and see that Dr. Jones was just an outstanding individual. Uh, also on the forefront of the things that we actually stood out is that he was always person who insists on everyone coming in to any activity on time staying everything to its fullest and actually competing to their highest ability. Thank you all very much. Committed. I think I, I've watched Warren over the years and when I came to Dillard as a freshman, he was a junior and I immediately saw Warren as, uh, as being there for people, for, um, for being across campus taking care of business and making sure things were in order. Um, uh, having a, a, a listening ear, not only for his peers, but for anyone, no matter what age. I just saw where he was just always there and available for someone to talk to. So that's where the mentorship comes in. Warren A. Jones, MD is a family physician and adolescent medicine specialist who is a member of the Dillard University class of 1971. He is a retired captain in the U.S. Navy and professor emeritus at the University of Mississippi Medical Center. He has been a longtime supporter of the Dillard athletic programs. While a student at DU, he served as the in-game announcer for the basketball teams. His greatest joy was to introduce the members of the Magnificent Seven Plus One. He continued to do all that he could to support athletic activities, including securing puck helmets to be used for the annual flag football games for Dillard and Xavier University's homecoming. He assembled and coached the first women's basketball team at Dillard, which played against the intramural league All-Stars from crosstown rival Xavier. The team was called the Rowdy Bunch, and won both games play. Dr. Jones remained supportive of the DU athletics program in many ways, including announcing basketball games while in medical school. He loved introducing the wizard, Billy Ray Hobley. He did many things, including assisting in interviewing head coaching prospects, recruiting men and women athletes, funding recruiting and conference trips for coaches, and supporting the athletic director for the development of the Dillard University Athletic Hall of Fame. He began serving as the chair of the HOF Nominating Committee, while the NIH Endowed Chair in Health Disparities Research at Dillard. He served as a Dillard University trustee and strongly supported the commitment to high quality athletic programs. Dr. Jones has shown his steadfast commitment to his alma mater during each decade since the 1960s. Congratulations to Dr. Warren Jones, my brother and friend, on receiving this Legacy Award from Dillard University. Congratulations, Dr. Warren Anthony Jones, of being one of the 2022 recipients of the Billy Ray Hobley Legacy Award. 
Congratulations. I love you, babe. Congratulations, Warren A. Jones.